Hey, this is Murtaza from Networkers Home. Welcome back again to another module that is WSA. In this video, we will see how to initialize WSA through CLI. This is my topology. On this switch, I've connected two PCs. One is admin PC and employee PC. Admin PC will be used for the management purpose and employee PC will be used for the testing purpose. Also, I have one Windows over here for the user-based authentication and for the DNS. And on this switch, I have connected a management cloud and via that management cloud, I'm accessing my WSA that is on this virtual machine over here. Also, also I have a firewall that is my gateway for these inside devices. And this is my outside network. R5 will act as a web server over here. So what I'll be doing, I'll configure the WSA via CLI. The default password will be admin and the use, sorry, the default username and the password will be admin and iron port. It will take some time, so you have to be patient for this. You see? So let's say, uh, let's say edit. I have to mention the interface that is one management interface. So it's asking me, well, would you like to configure an IPV for it just for this interface? Whatever, uh, whatever option it's giving me at the end, the options we have is yes or no, whether I want to do it or I don't want to do it. But whatever is at the end, if I press enter, it will take that answer as default. So for now there is Y that means yes. So if I'll press enter, it will take yes as uh, default. So I'll mention my IP address. That is 150.1.7.50, enter. Submit mask will be 255.255.255.0, or that is 24. Uh, would you like to configure an IPv6? Not for now. Let's Host name will be wsa.cisco.com. It's up to you, whatever you want to keep. Do you want to enable FTP for this interface? I'll say yes, enter. Enable SSH, yes, enter, enter, enter. I'll enable HTTP and also HTTPS. So, do you wish to use a demo certificate? Yes. Now, make sure you say no to this one because it's saying both http and https are enabled for the interface so should http requests redirect to secure service so whenever any request will be generated for the http that request will be regenerate uh, redirected towards the https so make sure to say no and make sure to comment your changes Otherwise, your configurations won't be saved. So now uh, what we'll be doing, we'll be configuring the gateway. With the help of command set gateway IPv4 and our gateway will be 150.1.7.10. As you can see in my uh, as you can see in my topology over here, I mentioned my gateway as dot 10. So, I'll be maximizing it. So, I'm, I'm done with the gateway. I'll commit my changes. And lastly, what I'll do, I'll set the time. So, for my license to work, I have to match my uh, time with my license. So I have to check my license. Uh, let me see where my license is. So I've got my license over here. I'll open it, open via notepad. So if you check, uh, the begin date is Tuesday, February 2014 and the end date is April 2014. So somewhere between I can uh, put my date on WSA so that it can uh, sync with the time of the license. So let's copy. First of all, we have to change the 
time. So I'll say, let's keep it to March 3rd, 2014. And the time as 12, 11. You have to write it in this format, month, date, and year, then R, minute, and seconds. I hope you got this. So I'll press enter. Time, as you can see, it's showing time set to Monday, March 3rd. The date is, sorry, the time is this, and that's it. So I'll say commit. Okay, I don't need to commit for this. It's already saved. So it's saying, please run the system system setup wizard at HTTP uh, slash 150.1.7.80. So, so our initialization is done via CLI. Now, what I'll be doing, I'll be configuring my other devices that, I, that I'll be needing for my lab. So first of all, let's configure ASA. I'll go on to ASA. Let's configure the host name as ASA. Let's configure the inside interface. That is inside interfaces IP. Okay, sorry. All the name if that's inside IP address is 150.1.7.10. The outside interface that is E1. Name it outside IP address as 192.168.10. No shit. Also, I have to do some netting so that my inside uh, users, whenever they want to communicate with the outside web server, they should be, they should have some kind of a translation so that they can go out on the internet. You have to assume that it's the web, that it's the internet. So they can't go using uh, via the private IP. So what I'll do, I'll do some translation for my inside users and my WSA. So I'll say object network inside users. It's just a name. I'll take a subnet 150.1.7.0 NAT from inside to outside dynamic interface. So I've done dynamic path. All those uh, inside users will be translated to the outside interface of WSA that is 192.168.10.10. Also for WSA, I'll do static narrating so that it will never change. So I'll translate WSA statically to reach the internet and I'll say, Object network, let's name it as WSA host 150.1.7.50. That's my WSA IP address. NAT inside to outside static 192.168.10.50. This is, I've used an IP address from the outside subnet. So if you check the translations, this is my uh, WSA. It has been statically tra translated to this IP address 192.168.10.50. And my inside subnet that is 150.1.7.0 is translated to the IP address of the ASA that is outside interface. So now we'll be configuring our R5. say interface e0 by 0 IP address as 192.168 you configure the IP addresses according my 
topology no shut also i'll add the default route towards my wsa sorry my asa let's try to ping my wsa sorry the asa you can see am i able to ping i have the connectivity Now also I'll, I'll be configuring these admin PC and employee PC. The password is capital T E S T at the rate one, two, three. It's only capital T E S T one, two, three test one, two, three. So I'll go here, open network and shared settings. I'll go here properties okay it's already configured it's 150.1.7.1 uh, with the default gateway as dot 7.10 that is the inside ip address of the asa and also i have configured the dns server that is windows server over here so let's configure my employee pc first of all let's check the reachability from my admin pc i'll say ping 150.1.7.10 that's my default gateway and let's try to verify the connectivity between my admin pc and the wsa i'll say 150.1.7.50 you can see i'm able to ping i have the connectivity let's configure the employee pc i'll say local network properties I'll go on instant protocol version 4 150 raw 1.7.2 as mentioned in the topology 150 1.7.10 and my DNS server will be 150.1.7.3. Okay, close. Let's check the uh, reachability. Ping 150.1.7.10. You can see I'm able to ping. And let's also verify the connectivity between my WSA and employee PC. I'm able to ping from here as well. So uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll see explicit forwarding. So these are the number of tasks we'll be doing on WSA in this module. So the next video will be on explicit forwarding and we'll go accordingly so I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.